The final step in standard solar cell manufacturing is the formation of contacts to collect the light generated carriers. The most commonly used method in the solar cell industry is screen printing. Cell precursors with a front side emitter and anti reflection coating are loaded into a cassette for processing. The printing tool consists of a mesh screen with selective openings which can form either a grid or full area contact. The rear side of each precursor is bare silicon and aluminium paste is printed onto the full area to form the back contact of a cell. During the printing process, a squeegee is used to force paste through the screen mesh and a flood bar is used to replenish the paste after each print. Between 1.32 and 1.36 grams of aluminium are deposited on each wafer, amounting to a contact thickness of between 20 and 30 microns. The printed cells are then baked at 285 degrees Celsius in a drying oven to remove solvents from the paste. Each cell is then loaded into another printing cassette in preparation for front contact printing. The front contact consists of a grid pattern comprising of fingers and bus bars. Silver paste containing glass frit is printed onto the front surface. The glass frit is required during co-firing to penetrate the anti-reflection coating and contact the underlying silicon. The amount of silver paste can vary greatly depending on the mesh and grid properties. Cameras are used to align the wafer to the pattern on the screen. This allows for a very low margin of error. Operators can isolate individual cells for visual inspection during the printing process for quality control. With both front and rear contact patterns printed, the cells are baked a second time to remove remaining solvents before co-firing. An industrial screen printing tool, similar to this, can print over 2,000 cells every hour. Any remaining paste is recovered to be used for future processing. The contact dimensions and print quality are monitored by visual inspection after printing is complete.